Hi there, my name is Marty McMullen and this is another screencast to have a look at Blackboard 9. Now what we're going to do from our home page or our My Institution page as it's now called, we're going to look at a module. Now if we choose the Skill Boosters module and we go in, now anyone who's familiar with Blackboard 8 will see that the Blackboard 9 module is has a different look and feel but if we get beyond that we can see that the same things that we're used to seeing in Blackboard 8 are still here in Blackboard 9. What we have is our breadcrumbs trail, we have our link menu on the left hand side and we have our control panel down here. We have our content frame on the right hand side and we have an edit button up in the top right. Now that being slightly different. The edit mode is off at the moment. Now the new things that you'll see about your landing page, that's the page that opens up when you click on a link, whether that be for a student or an instructor. This is generally defaulted to announcements but if you can see that we have a pull tab here on the content frame and we can expand and retract that content frame using that pull tab. And you can do the same, the same thing happens in anywhere you go in the Blackboard 9 content frame, whether it's module information or learning resources. Now the button menu is exactly as it was in Blackboard 8, slightly different look and feel as you've heard me say but nevertheless it still has the same click and go functionality as Blackboard 8. So you just click on the link and it takes you to the folder. The control panel no longer takes you to a new page. It's now a drop down menu and if you have a look here you can see that rather than opening up the new page you simply click on whichever part of the control panel you would like to go to. You have your course tools for getting to announcements, collaboration, calendar, discussion board, messages, email, tasks, all of those things that you're used to seeing in Blackboard 8. Evaluation is where you'll find your performance dashboard and your early warning system and your course reports, SCORM reports also. Grade Center gives you access to your full grade center, your assignments and your tests if you only want to see those or the items that need grading. Users and groups, set up your groups for managing your cohort. Customization is like the old settings of Blackboard 8. You can alter the, this is where you alter your color and your buttons and these types of things. Packages and utilities, this is where you will be archiving your course if you need to. Uh, none of these other options will be available in the live Blackboard 9 when we come to that. And help just has your help, your support and your video tutorials. So that's as much as I'm going to do in this screencast. I'm just going to quickly go over again. You have your breadcrumbs trail. You have your link menu to take you to your content areas and you have your control panel to take you to those areas of your module that help you control how your module looks and feels and how you manage student assessments and evaluation tools that let you know how your student is getting on in your module. Okay, thanks for listening. We'll be going into these areas in a bit more detail in more videos. But in the meantime, thank you very much for listening and I look forward to speaking to you again.